Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Challenge with the Super Flat World map type. It uh, it's, adds quite a lot of difficulty and makes you think more about how you play. We're going to create the world here. And apart from uh, the reason why I'm making these uh, videos of me doing this challenge, apart from... Uh, I, I think this is really fun. I've done this a couple of times. I haven't uh, recorded it. Now, the reason being is my normal series, my main series, uh, Mirgloff Builds, uh, right now I haven't been uploading very many videos of those because I don't have a lot of materials to build stuff and record me building them. So what I'm doing with in that world is just mining... Oh. An NPC, NPC village almost right away. So this is sort of a filler, I guess. These videos are going to be kind of filler. Oh, I got to kill those sheep because I need the wool to make a bed. That's going to be very important. Now, the thing about this challenge is I have not been able to survive for longer than uh, the second night. It's, it's that hard, uh, at first at anyways. It's going to be hard to kill these sheep if they run away like that. Damn it. I'll have to come back for that later. Uh, the first time I died, it was by Creeper. The second time, it was by Zombies, which I went into a house to get shelter from slimes. You'll see very soon wh why I need shelter from slimes. But uh, I ended up getting cornered by three zombies, and I couldn't even get my, uh, get my sword out in a hot bar. And that kind of sucked. It was cool. I found... Uh, a bunch of iron stuff in a NPC chest. And aside from staying alive, the goal I have for this uh, series is to collect 20 gold blocks and build a Mendel sponge, which a Mendel sponge is basically a cube, but with the middle part missing. I'll eventually the middle part being like this. And it's one of these. It's basically almost like this house, but a little bit smaller. And it takes 20 gold blocks. And the only way to find make gold blocks is out of gold ingots, which you would find inside NPC chests. So the whole the whole the way to win this challenge is by going from NP NPC village to NPC village. And hopefully I'll find a chest in this one, otherwise that's no good. And because the uh, this is the super flat world, there are no caves and there isn't there are no ores to be mined, so all the resources you get you get from basically scavenging from NPC villages. Oh, you gotta watch out for these guys. These big slimes, they'll get you. So basically I need to get some wood and then I to make some basic tools. Then I need to get wheat from the wheat farms. Now the problem that I've encountered that's the most frustrating most uh, challenging about this uh, hardcore mode challenge with the super flat world is that if you stay still in one area for more than a few minutes you will be completely surrounded by slimes and like even a bunch of the really big slimes and those the ones that can hurt you and it's very it gets it gets pretty intense it's almost like a zombie survival thing. Sort of like, uh, I guess like maybe Dead Rising, not so much like Dead Rising, but more like Dawn of the Dead. Like the, the movie where there's zombies surrounding the mall. It's kind of like that, but with slimes. Oh, come on, come on, get out of here. You got in here. Dang it. Yeah, this is... So what I need next is a stone axe. So I can more efficiently and quickly get 
wood. And what I really like about uh, trying to survive... Oh, I, I always do this. Oh, get the hell out of here. Okay, I need to run from this place, because it's just going to be the death of me. Dang it. I always end up accidentally building a, a stone pickaxe instead of a stone axe. When I'm... Yeah, you guys ruin your own farms. So I need food too, so I, better, I might as well just get the wheat now. Before these slimes ruin all this wheat. Dang it. Okay, I need to go in here. I guess I'll try and... Uh, start over here. Dang it. Now I need to make another one of these. But basically, all your tools and stuff, like you can't craft torches because there's no coal anywhere. So you basically have to scavenge, scavenge torches. Although so far I haven't really needed them. This should be enough here. Well, now I need stone, too. I need cobblestone. And what I really would like to do is just build some kind of, like, sky headquarters, a sky base, just to get away from the slimes for a little while. They, they get so irritating. They're troublesome. Okay, how did he get in here? Oh, through there. Yeah, just, just some way to, some kind of slime-proof structure. And the only fuel you can really use for furnaces is also wood. I suppose you could make charcoal and make torches, so I guess it is possible to make torches. But wood's pretty rare. Wood logs, right, that. You can only find them as part of NPC... Oh. Already, I'm just being assaulted. This is the only thing that's not... It just gets irritating. <laughs> so you're just constantly, unendingly atta uh, harassed by slimes. I just gotta, like, I guess I just gotta develop some kind of strategy for just dealing with them. Because... It's not going to get any, really, any better than that. It's... But, uh, yeah. So the goal is 20 gold blocks. And I'm going to have to do it by going from village to village. And I'm going to get some cobblestone here. So basically, the first goal I have... Or the first step, I suppose, is just getting a large quantity of resources that I'll need, such as stone, or cobblestone, and wood. I'll need wood more than I need cobblestone. The only thing I need cobblestone for is maybe building my headquarters and making tools. And then wood, wood is going to be pretty much used for everything. It's made for sticks, to make tools... And just the burn in furnaces. It's kind of the essential resource. Okay. I cannot live without wood, so I'm going to be constantly gathering wood. Scavenging it, really. But I just gotta, I gotta, like, leave this spot because it's... If I try to leave, I'm going to get hurt. Oh, what was that? Glitch. I better make some bread, too, because if I get damaged, I'm not going to be able to heal myself. Because my hunger is up. See, look at this. I'm just constantly being pestered. So pestersome. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my break this way. Just ow. And make a run for it. Hopefully I'll lose these slimes, but if I like stop the smell of the roses anywhere, I'm gonna be 
swamped by them again. So I can't really stand still in one spot. So I better just take a couple of blocks and move on, I guess, is a strategy I could use. But I gotta be careful about corners too. If I get like surrounded by a large number of anything and pinned in a corner, it's gonna be the death of me. It's how I died last time I did this and wasn't recording. And I really hope I don't die within two days. This won't make for a very good... Oh, crap. Good series. But I think I've learned from the first couple tries playing this. Dang, these guys are just... Dogged. Doggedly after me. Now, one thing I've done before is I've chopped down, broken a lot of blocks, let them get around me, and then run away, lead them away, and then come back and collect the blocks. You see they're starting to gather around me. Get some of this wood. Damn it. They're ruining the crops. And I can't collect them because they're now congregating right there. Okay, let's go back to that spot over here where I was chopping down that house. Collect some of this stuff. You should go after the logs because I can get more wood from those. And run away. I'm going to run away to this church. Because I think I can gather more cobblestone there without being harassed. Now I was not able to make a bed so I won't be able to sleep away the night so that's the most immediate danger is gonna be mobs, creepers, probably zombies and or spiders. It's going to be a zombie or spider that kills me, if anything. Because a spider could get me up here. I didn't even I didn't even get a chance to make a sword, and I left my crafting bench behind. I did not. I haven't seen any chests in this house so far. That's disappointing. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.